Welcome back to the Blue White Tailgate Show. Time to go inside the film room with Coach Jay Paterno. Coach, we welcome you back to the show, and you know what? We're enjoying doing this. Hope you're having fun. I'm having a lot of fun with it. All right, we're going to break down San Diego State Aztecs because we on the East Coast, we really don't know too much about them, but Jay's got us covered right here. And their personnel sets, I mean, they just have a ton of sets. Yeah, and I think one of the things that's really interesting about them is how multiple they are with their formation groups. Uh, you know, and it's to get their guys really uh, get them the ball. Humphrey, their running back, who's just a phenomenal player, they're going to try and give him the ball a lot of different ways. Um, last year, there's a, he's a guy that had over 2,000 yards from scrimmage, over 1,800 yards rushing, uh, very involved in the pass game. So they've had a challenge. You know, he's gone from 6.8 yards a carry last year. He's under four this year. People are starting to key in on him. And so they've gone to a lot of different things to try and get him the ball. Their base set is a 21 personnel set. It should be noted, he is climbing the ranks of the all-time leading rushers at San Diego State, but this base set, as we take a look at it on the first slide, 21, I know what it means, explain it for the guys at home. Well, what 21 means is that you have two backs and one tight end. On any given play, you've got five skill guys in the game. So you'll see guys, defense coordinators, people on the sidelines hold up signs that say 21. That's to let everybody on the field know that there's two backs, one tight end, and Andrew, you know, I know you're a good student. If there's five skill guys and there's two backs and one tight end, how many wide outs that leave us? Well, I think we got about two, right? Yeah, exactly. There we go. So the base set you get out of most people with a 21 set is really like the old I formation. The B back is the fullback. A back is your tailback. The Y is your tight end, and you got two wide receivers. So they, they like to get in the set. Now, when you are studying them as, as a defensive player, you look at the set and you say, okay, they were in this 13 plays last week and almost all of them were runs. And that's what those guys are going to key in on. Now we go to the next slide. Okay, the next slide now, you see the wideouts are across the formation now. Now you've got a twin set. Again, same personnel, but a little different look for the defense. The defense has got to now make an adjustment to where the wideouts, but again, their tailback Pumphrey is still in the eye. Go to the next set, the next slide for us. Now they're going to change things up on this next slide, and now you're in a one-back set now. Now they've taken Pumphrey and put him in a slot. You can see with that circle right there. And now, last week, there were four passes, no runs in this set. So you know it's a pass-heavy set. But not only that, they got the, the, the tailback out here involved in three of the four passes. And as we take a look at the video, you'll see a slant pattern that they throw to the slot receiver against Cal last week, which was effective for him. They also threw a quick out to him a couple times and got some yards. And it's a good way to get those guys involved. Now we go to the next slide. We're going to see their bunch set, and they do their bunch set two different ways. They do it with Pumphrey here in the slot, in the third receiver in the bunch, and we'll get to the next one. But again, three plays here, three passes. They got the ball to tailback in the flat on this one. Go to the next set slide, and we'll see now, instead of the tailback being up here, now you've got the fullback and the tailback, more of a traditional uh, bunch set, where now your tailback's your run guy. Again, last week, three plays, three runs, all of them runs exactly opposite of where they are. So defensive guys have got to know who's where and where they're going. Then we go to the last one, and it's a trip set on our next slide. And again, this is another way to get their receiver into the slot. Again, now it's a tailback in the slot. They did this against Cal. As we go to the video, you see it was successful for him. But they motioned him out of the backfield, took him on a corner route, which opened the tight end up underneath, or down the middle for the touchdown against Cal that got him to score early in their first drive. The fans on Saturday watched for the Aztecs tailbacks to line up a bunch of different places, a little bit like where's Waldo. Yeah, definitely, as you see the A-back flip in between all over the field, he's definitely the key guy that Rocky Long wants to get the ball. Now, we bring in Rocky, I mentioned Rocky Long. Let's go to the Aztec defense as we take a look at the first slide of what they're going to bring in the Beaver Stadium on the defensive side of the ball. Now, a little different set. Most teams you're going to play are going to have – Four defensive backs in the games on most play. But if you look at uh, San Diego State, they've got two corners, two what they call warriors, and then a free safety, two linebackers, three down, excuse me, three linebackers, and three down guys. So it's a little different scheme. Now, it gives them a lot of flexibility to blitz and do other things, and they're very, very aggressive with it. When you look also here, and there's base two deep defense, this safety is deeper, so it's tougher for the offensive line to account for them. He's going to be dropped down here where now, where Penn State's had a lot of success running the ball inside, he's going to be in position there to make some plays. So it's going to be a very, very good challenge for Penn State. Now, as we take a look at our uh, last week against Cal, 61 plays, 35 blitzes, well over 50%, which is a huge number. But this, this set 
This seam gives them a lot of flexibility to blitz people, which brings us to our first slide where we're going to talk about the blitzes, some of the things that you may see here. Now, the blitz that you're going to see here is just an inside zone blitz. It's something, again, that, that uh, will be effective against Penn State's run game, they hope. They'll play man-to-man -man on the outside. They have very, very good corners. And then they, they freeze these safeties to come up and play the run. We'll take a look at the video of this, and you'll see how this works. You see they walk the guys up. Here comes the inside blitz. They slant towards the side of the run. Those safeties are there in position to make those plays. The thing about San Diego State is every one of their guys in the secondary will blitz at some point. Not necessarily in the game, but they are very, very aggressive. Talking about their, also talking about their secondary, number seven, their corner of the field to the right, to the offense's right, is very, very good as well. We go to the next slide, just want to show you very quickly a shot of him. He's up here in the field, very aggressive in the pass game, a very, very good tackler. As we go to the video, you'll see they're going to blitz this corner off the edge, but up top, you're going to see that, that corner drop back and come up and make a very, very good tackle on a big, big guy. Most corners, when they see a guy coming out and that's that, is that big, are backing off. Here you're going to see he comes up, puts his nose in there, isn't afraid. It's going to be a lot of challenges for Penn State this weekend in terms of scheme, knowing where people are when Penn State's on defense, and knowing where people are coming from when they're on offense. All right, you heard it from the coach right there. San Diego State bringing a lot of athletes on the defensive side of the ball and out of the running back position in the Beaver Stadium. We'll get it back to Steve, Trey, and Todd to continue to break it down on the Blue White Tailgate Show.